Okay, and there are a few other mistakes. So this needs to be changed. This should be an else. I was trying to get through the last bit of the tutorial in the last part, but it looks like there is a third part to this. So that needed to be changed to an else. And this needs to be a hundred. This needs to be zero. And this is off. And this is on. So I should have those reversed. So now If we go in, we find our light switch. We don't necessarily need to be looking at it because of the way we coded it. But you can see here that the light switch is now shining so that we don't lose track of it. And if you push enter, still one more little glitch. And that's because this should be zero and this should be one. These should both be one. What was I thinking? Okay, so now if you turn them on and off. Now the great thing about the way that this is set up now is that if you go back into the world editor, it's probably good that we have this third part because now I can show you this um, extra little bit of stuff. So we're going to select all of this. Is that right? Okay. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. I was just a little thrown off here. Okay, so we're gonna copy this. And we shouldn't have copied it. What we're going to do is control, make sure you right click, drag your top um, view, hit control D, and you'll duplicate. And you can rotate it. And if you watch down here, you'll be like, I can't show you right now because I'm. I can only do it while I'm rotating, but if you were to watch down here, you'd see how much you're rotating it so that you can get it accurate the way I did. So we're going to put that on the wall here. And we'll just leave those lights where they are. Oh, first, we'll start from over here, come back to behaviors. We have to remember to set these to a different number now. So set these to 4. Remember, we're only setting the light bulbs and the light switch to 4. You don't need to set the, um, the sockets or the fixtures. You don't need to set those, just the bulbs. Okay, so now that they're set, update. Okay, so now they're set to on. And you can turn them off. What's going on here? They did not register. This one didn't register. This one didn't register. This one did. Okay, so sometimes you have to like 
click out of the box for it to work. So that was just an update entity build. So there, turns off those lights. And that turns off those lights. So now, we can have, like I say, an infinite amount of different lights being controlled by any amount of light switches simply by changing this number so that they all match. Now, what if we wanted one to be on and one, one to be off? All we'd have to do is come up here to the light bulb act and this, no matter what, if it's on or off, is going to be still at zero. So we can say if, um, okay, so I had to just double check on that. If is my flag one, um, actually, we don't need the curly bracket because it's just one command else my dot off or on equals off. So now we can come back to our newly created light bulbs, come down to here, set flag one, and we'll just double check. We only need to set them to the light bulbs. And make sure you set all of them to flag one uh, for their for their groups. Otherwise, you'll have one light turn on and one light turn off, and there should be a second bracket here. Flag. Flag's supposed to be all capitals. Okay, so there we go. So now one is off and one is on. So now they're both on. Switch it over here. And now those are on. So there we go. Now you can have light switches anywhere set up so that they're either off or on. And now, since we have it set up so that one is on and one is off, we can easily come into here and set its light range off. Oops. Get rid of all that. That's not necessary. This isn't necessary. This isn't necessary. None of that. Okay, and that's all you need to remove. Now if you run the, the game, I was going to say script, but if you're running the game, now you can turn this on. that off. I think part of the problem is because this needs to wait um, half a second just to catch up. There we go. So there you have it. And that's the end of that. In the next tutorial, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet.